Starting the video today by going to Harbor Frey and getting a car for my welder. There they are. So here they are. Welding cabinet. That's what I, that's what I need. Oh, this is for a big tank. I don't really need a big tank. I have a little tank, so I think this will do the job. 40 bucks. It's not bad. I could just put my um, tip welder here and then the organ in the back. So here's the welding cabinet. It said 100 pound capacity. It should be enough. I'll come with the chain and everything to uh, lock up the tank of organ, but or anything that you want to put in the back. Damn, there has so many stuff here that I could use. A compressor for a tire machine or for the paint booth. Man, very nice. And everything is pretty good price though. So I'm going to load this up now. I got some elastic core here as well. And here our $40 welding cart. Ah, shit, it's pretty heavy. But one hand is heavy. Ah. All right, good. So here's the welder. So my sister was nice enough and she bought me a tick welder. Uh, I already got this back in December, but uh, you know, with the cold and everything, I just haven't got the chance to uh, set it up. Uh, it's nice, it's from Lotus. Uh, we're gonna bring it down now and we're gonna set up everything. And also here's the welding car from Hardware Frey, 40 bucks. You can go wrong with this. That we just purchase. Everything is pretty damn heavy shit, man. And of course, we have some elastic uh, cord for the tank of gas. So I always wanted a tick weld, but I never really got the chance to get one. Uh, but I guess my sister was no, nice enough and she bought me one for the, as a Christmas gift. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna set it up right here at the, at the back of the house because I don't really wanna bother anybody uh, for when I do my things, you know? So here's the Tango Argon that I got yesterday. Uh, to, uh, something that I learned yesterday is, uh, is to do tick well, you need 100% Argon. Uh, and also I got some filler rods over here. This is for metal, right? They have different coal, they have different quality of metal. Uh, we have the aluminum right over here, right? And also I got some uh, purple uh, tungsten over here. Oops, right? Different size, different thickness as well. Uh, what well, I read about the purple tungsten is compatible for AC and DC uh, welding so we don't have to switch around every time that we're gonna do some difference you know this is quite expensive so yeah um, I really want to start learning how to do my own in the cooler piping uh, exhaust maybe turbo manifold you know and all the cool stuff you know maybe a cage or something you know but it's one step at a time so we already have everything basically we have the welder we have the car uh, we have the gas, we have the filler rods, we have the tungsten, uh, we have the mask, right, for the previous welder. Uh, that's pretty much. I think I'm going to go go ahead and clean this up now um, to set this up very nicely. And uh, we go from there. Wow, what a big difference. We got plenty of space now. Nice. Very good. This is the stuff that I can move. Uh, this is that... Uh, Hood van that uh, I need to bring to Kevin. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to bring to him. Uh, that's pretty much. I have a whole bunch of garbage out. Uh, here's the welder. Some boxes that I don't need. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, set up that uh, welding car now.
pretty much just set up the Harbor Freight uh, welding car here. It's pretty simple. Everything is plug and play. Is I think the size is perfect for what it needs. There's all the option. There's a bigger car. Uh, I won't be using that yet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unbox the Lotus Take 200. This is for AC and DC well, uh, which is aluminum and steel. Uh, I'm very excited. Can't wait. So here's. So here's the welder. So here's the welder. I got everything set up. Looking really good. This is the. Here's the welder. Here's the welder. It looks really good. I never had one of this. It looks really good. Now this is one of the main reasons that I got this uh, quartz. You know, to hold the welder in place. I'm pretty sure that ain't going nowhere, you know. Uh, welder is, is pretty simple to install. Right, came with the, with the necessary stuff. With the ground, right? The gun. I already got the argon yesterday. I already have everything set up here. Come with the pedal, right? And also the gun option that you can use here. And also come with the pedal. Alright. Very nice. I love it. The quality of the welder is pretty good. Uh, it looks really solid. Buttons are good. You know, everything is adjustable. So very cool to come with a converter that does uh, 220 volt to 110 watts power for the house. I mean, a lot of us, we don't have 220 plugs in the house, so, you know, that's make the conversion. But uh, here's the, the welder. I don't think I'm going to turn it on now today. Uh, probably tomorrow, once it's a little warmer out, I'm going to, you know, try to weld something. <laughs> I mean, i never really done that, you know, but uh, it should be fun. It looks good, though. You got thick and you got stick. And also you have AC and DC, which is aluminum and steel. And also you just graduate everything here. I gotta still go to instructions. I don't know what is this for or what is this for yet. But uh, we are about to find out. Uh, the TIC 200 AC DC is pretty much an entry level uh, welder. I guess once I get a little more pro at it, I will upgrade to a Miller or you know something else. But this is something to start. I have this welder on the link of the description. Uh, you could take a look at Amazon. Uh, I think they have a pretty good deal with also prime shipping. So, and also I have the link in the description. So you guys, and also I have an, and also I have a link in the description so you guys can go and take a look. Like I said, this is a good entry level welder. Um, you don't have to. You don't want to spend really, really crazy money and get something that you're gonna, you're not gonna use. So, this is uh, is something that I'm gonna learn with. So hopefully, you know, it works out well and I upgrade later. I like the color of the welder. I like the red. I'm probably gonna start adding some sticker on it. You know, since I have the vinyl cutter. Like I say, I have the link in the description so you guys can can go ahead and take a look. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, like I said, my sister got it with a pretty good deal. You know, prime shipping and all that. A very nice entry level welder. And that's pretty much. I still gotta fix all this crap over here. Uh, but here it is. Finally, I got it done. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later.